chicken pocket. How are they going to keep this up? Yeah, we need to figure out a different way to make ledges. Something that's more easy and fun. Hey, Mother Hustlers! We are so excited about this video today. If you've been watching for a while, you know that when we first started doing this channel, our thought was to do it on lunches. Yeah, and we're gonna be like the lunch ladies with the hair nets and, and the whole thing and showing how to make different school lunches for our kids. Um, since then, I know that we've just really opened it up to do a whole bunch of things, but we still wanna do the recipes and we still wanna do the back to school lunches. Um, they're so fun and we're so, so like passionate about them. And so we have some amazing recipes coming up that we're super excited to show you. But what a couple of them we're gonna be trying. That's what I was just gonna say is some of these are like we have, we have found the recipes online, we have not made them yet. So we're hoping today that we can make them right and they will look good and not ridiculous. So let's all learn together. Let's get started. <laughs> this first one is so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, I don't know. This was such a cute idea that we saw I online. Know. Oh, well, Crystal found this one online and I was like, I'm not really sure about it. <laughs> but when we shopped at Walmart, we did find a few different things that went with it that I think is gonna be so fun. It's cute. It's cute. It's just one of those extra lunches, you know? And it's yes. one that's like the kids will take to school and be like, look what my mom did, right? So it's a tackle box. We found most of our stuff at Walmart. Walmart today yes. that we so in the little fishing section there's these little mini tackle boxes that look like lunch yeah, boxes and they just this comes off so it's just like a normal tackle box and we washed it really good so, so it will be like a fish theme fishing theme um, with that and we're super excited yeah, it is like the size of a lunch box too I like how small it is like I don't think my child would be embarrassed no this. I think it's good and there was cute ones there's pink purple like there was even a spider-man one if you want to get really fun but <laughs> so with the lunches that we got today just a little disclaimer really quick. We did do some really fun with some sweets in it. We do try to be as healthy as possible, but sometimes you gotta have some fun. Like Fridays. I feel like Friday's yeah. a good, you know, on Fridays your kid can take a little bit like less healthy lunch and it's okay, it's fun. Once a week, so. Yeah. All right, let's start putting this one together. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always like have that song play in my head every time I peanut think about Peanut butter it. jelly time. Okay, so we really are doing peanut butter and jelly. It, this is as easy as it gets, guys. This is super easy. We try not to do really complicated ones because as you guys know, with real moms, our lives get so crazy in the mornings and yeah. we need easy in our lives. Super easy, but still okay. delicious. Because who doesn't like peanut butter and jelly? So just make a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do your kids like crunchy better or creamy? Creamy. Oh, my kids love crunchy. They do? Mm -hmm. We found these really cute fish cookie cutters. They're so cute. And these little tiny ones, although, do we have a plan for these? We're we found them and have them. They're so cute. <laughs> we're gonna figure it out as we go. So, with our peanut butter and jelly, we're just gonna cut out the fish. I feel like this was like a double purpose too because it cuts off the crust. Which, which I know is a lot of the healthy part. I know, but my kids but don't like it either. My kids always eat around it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job. You have to like push I it. I did, middle. I did. Okay. 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 So now it's a little puffer fish before you cut it out. Aww. Wait, there's a hand. Oh, there's a hand. <laughs> That's how we're starting this out. Great. Okay. Oh, Great. and then we got cute eyeballs for the fish. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just thought of, okay, so when, when we were planning this, this was supposed to be a Nutella sandwich with strawberries in it. And then I have a thing that we were smashing oh. it to make the fish scales. Oh, this is not starting okay, out no very good. Okay, no peanut butter and jelly. Wait, did you just throw that? <laughs> Where oh, did shoot. that go? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't tell Erin. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're actually gonna start all kay. over. So 
just just pretend no you didn't see any of that. No peanut butter jelly time. No. Okay. okay. Try that. Oh, we're gonna jelly. try that oh, again. We're for this. Okay. okay. What we actually meant for this to be was a Nutella sandwich with cut up strawberries in it. And then I brought an iron, a um, waffle iron, that kind of looks like fish scales. And so when we pressed it down, it looks like a fish. Like it's really cute. Okay. Yeah, we even practice this one. one. We practice, I don't know oh, why we started fish. with peanut butter and jelly. I got it, I got it. Okay, try this one more time. Where's the, where's the iron? Oh, right there. Oh. I was gonna say, why are we not prepared? <laughs> Okay, we are we always are. prepared. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna put the plug, plug over here. Yeah, well, you're not the plug. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do a Nutella sandwich, and then we have these cute little strawberries. Where did the bread go? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so you cut the strawberries into slices like this so that they go flat on the bread. We go through Nutella crazy in our house. Like we do too. That's why it's always a new one being open. Because once it's opened, it's gone. So we tried this sandwich yesterday, and what we do is the Nutella, and then we do a little bit of strawberry jam on top, and it was so good. It was so good. Only so because we good. didn't have fresh strawberries, but I don't know if you need to do that now because we have the strawberries. No, it added to it. Okay. It was really good. It was really good. I feel like it gives it the flavor pop of like, it's almost like chocolate covered strawberries. Like it gives it that kind of flavor. Now we're ready for the fish cutout. Voila! <laughs> voila! No, it's not voila. It's voila? No, it's voila. It's not voila? It is voila. I just learned that from Jared. I was saying voila my whole life. I just did this whole thing with Kylie. Oh. Really, it is voila. Okay, <laughs> Which, voila. So now we're gonna bring it back to our waffle iron. So our waffle iron, it's a heart one, but I love the little um, shapes that it's on. that's on there. They do look like fish scales. They do. So we're gonna put our little fishy on there. And we're just gonna smash it down. You can hear the sizzle. <laughs> oh, what happened? What happened? I think we put too much Nutella. Oh, no. Okay, well, the fish fried. Wait, you just a little spatula. I promise it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> okay. It doesn't look like a fish anymore. Just make it again. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like a fish anymore. We really did practice this yesterday and it looked good. I don't know what to do here. Okay, we're gonna make it one more time. But I think less Nutella. I think it had too much Nutella in it. I think it's just a thin layer. Okay. Let's try one more time. Or maybe you smashed it too hard. <laughs> you can't, oh, it's my fault. <laughs> If something goes wrong, it must be my fault. Oh, you already got sisters know the code. So this time, when you do this, use less Nutella. We're all learning together. It's a That's learning right. experience. You know, it's a good thing that our channel's not all about cooking anymore because <laughs> we are definitely not pros. He's cute. Okay, He's this cute. looks so cute. I don't want to really put it through the iron. You could stop right here, save the fish. And <laughs> don't put it through the waffle iron and it'll look great. Hashtag save the fish. <laughs> yeah, hashtag save the fish. Do okay. we try one more time just or do we it. give up on the iron? Try it. But I feel like you could make a couple of those and just put it in the tackle box and it would be cute. Yeah, this so. one could be finished at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you really just tap the fish. I did, I did. I'm hoping that I don't kill it. Don't push too hard. I didn't. I'm like barely pushing. <laughs> I feel like you're pushing too hard. I'm not. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's get our blah blah. <gasps> Perfect fish! Success! Okay, so the key is don't use a lot of Nutella because then it just goes everywhere just a little bit. And he's so cute. This turns out scales. so cute. Look how cute. Oh, wait, where's his eye? Oh, we're Let's put his eyeball on. That's a big eye. We yeah, also got so these eyes from Walmart. Mm -hmm. In their cake decorating section, they have little candy eyeballs. So the kids That's could That's a big eat eye. The big looking eye for that fish. It's okay, he's cute. I don't know how to get it to stay. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh. Nutella. Ha. Oh, it's cute! Yay! Now 
we just need, I don't know, how many sandwiches would we put in there? Like three? I would think three of this size would be a good amount. Two or three, yeah. yeah. Depending on which kid it is. And how old, yeah. It's time to start putting it all together, which is my favorite part when it's like all done and just ready to plate. So we're gonna put some lettuce in the bottom. We really wanted to buy um, the pretzel rods, you know, the thicker ones, but they didn't have any at the store. So we just got the little ones and we are wrapping around Twizzlers. You know, you get Twizzlers and you can just peel them apart. And then they attach to the fish's mouth, so it's like a fishing pole. Then we're gonna put the top tray in and we're gonna fill all of the extras in there. So we have some grapes going in. We have some whales. We found these and they're actually, they say twin snakes. <laughs> but we're just pretending that they're worms. Then you have to add Swedish fish for sure. And some extra fishing rods. This turned out so cute. It's so cute. cute. This is a good idea you had. I love it. I love let's it. Let's see. Let's Any of my them. kids would be so excited to be able to open this up and find all these fun treats. And their sandwich at the bottom too looks like a fish. Would you like this in your school lunch? And then wait, wait, wait. Don't take oh. off with it. <laughs> and then open it up. Look how cute the bottom is. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Can you have it? <laughs> For school lunch tomorrow. <laughs> this next one is one you could make on a Monday because it is a monkey, so monkey Monday. And, <laughs> okay. You're gonna catch it. <laughs> we had that plan where like she'd throw it up and I'd catch it really cute, but I guess that didn't happen. Okay, so this one, is, we haven't made it before. It looks really simple. And for Mondays, you just need something really simple. And, and easy. And super cute. Yeah, so it is just peanut butter and a banana yes. on an English muffin. Look, I can hold all of it with this too. And this too. Okay, but wait, real quick, let me show these. Okay, so we got these at Target, um, these bento boxes, and I love them because, this is not a brand deal or anything, yeah. but I love them because depending on what you're doing, these little sides pop in or out. Isn't that so the cute? The best thing ever. Four. And then we found these, these are um, like the little silicone cupcake um, holders, and so you could just tuck them right in. And then underneath here, I just have like a little piece of like wrapping paper just to make it look extra cute, extra fun. The first thing we're gonna do is put peanut butter on the English muffin. While I'm doing this, Shelly's gonna be cutting up the banana. So you're actually just gonna do one banana and we're gonna slice it right in half. And then half of it is gonna go on the English muffin and then the other half is gonna go in their lunch. Last time, Crystal and I made a cooking video. <laughs> I was chopping these vegetables like really, really close and I actually cut my finger she did. really bad on camera. And so, and it was all over the food. <laughs> so we cut bad. it and threw away all the food. Yeah, but... we just cut it right out of the video. I was so embarrassed. And then to have so it like, bad. you know, we had such a close shot of me just cutting my fingers. <laughs> I don't know if I should be doing the cutting. And then just close it up. Now for the fun part, we're gonna put together the monkey face. So we have Ritz crackers, and one of the Ritz crackers is gonna be the monkey's nose or like mouth area, and then the ears. So we're gonna do the ears first. And then we need a little bit of peanut butter to oh, hold so it on. Much. Since it's Monkey Monday, should we do a smile? So like, have a good week, or should we be like, oh, it's Monday. Oh, it's Monday. And do a face. No, we should always do smiles. I know, smiles every day. I am just using a little bit of peanut butter to attach the eyes. And then we're cutting the raisin in half to make his little nostrils. <laughs> I feel like that's a weird word. And Monkey Monday. Yay, that one turned out pretty cute too for so our first cute. one. Ah, uh, that one was crazy. Crazy simple. I love how simple that is. Fast, easy. Fast, yes, now we just have to put it all together. We found these cute banana cookies in the baby section and they're so good. <laughs> they're actually really good. They're really I tried good. one. <laughs> I think they're, they're perfect with our monkey theme. And they're banana flavor. And then we also got some trail mix. So we're gonna be putting that in the other one. Wait, 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 no, one more little thing. Oh. A little Danimal smoothie. Oh, and it has a little monkey on it. 
Okay. Ta -da! Ta -da! I love this one. It's so cute and so fast and easy. Okay, so we have done Fishing Friday, Monkey Monday, and now we're doing Turtle Tuesday. Yay! We just thought of that. It's not actually <laughs> something we had planned. I was like, actually, we could do it the days of the week. That's kind of fun. So anyway, this turtle one is also very simple. One of those ones that you can just do real quick as your kid is getting ready to leave out the door. Um, so let's get started. So this one starts with sandwich thins, which are very thin. You also could use like a pita bread, like the pocket pita breads. Yeah. That would also work for this. Yeah. So you are just going to, you think about right there. Yep. Okay. So you're just gonna cut flat. I'm like cutting weird. Oh, there we go. So this is gonna be the shell. And then you're gonna cut like a kind of a circle. This is our first time doing this, so I'm not quite sure how this is gonna look. Okay, so out of the cut that you peat, out of the, the peat? <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> out of the piece that you cut, you are going to just make it kind of look like a turtle's head. That's how that's gonna work. Let's start making the sandwich. We are going to do a ham and cheese. We're adding mayo and cheese and ham. A little bit of lettuce. We like the spring mix is the one that we normally use just because it has a variety in it. Put it all together and then put a little bit of extra mayo on the head and slide that right in. Oh, our turtle's gonna be so cute. Okay. And then for legs, we're gonna use carrot sticks. Now for the fun part, we have um, edible markers, and so we are gonna draw his shell on. Do you know what you're doing? No. Well, look at your picture real But quick. I saw a picture. <laughs> I have the picture in my mind, and then you made me second guess myself. Okay, it's just a grid. I was not an artist in school growing up, but anyone can do this. And then we're gonna use that same marker to make a face. The sandwich then actually worked out that his little <laughs> dimple for his <laughs> eyes already look in. It already looks like we made it. That's funny. I know we actually didn't, but we use a little eye. Make him smile. Oh, That yeah. really looks like a turtle. I know, but we are gonna add a little bit of lipstick. Aw. <laughs> Crystal. You gotta have a little bit of pink in there. That's a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Extra's the best. Okay, we are gonna sprinkle a little bit of lettuce into the bottom, and then we are gonna put our turtle on top. Okay, you wanna see what I'm working on? It's oh. so cute! Okay, so we were gonna put cucumber slices in there, but I made it look like the turtle was eating on it. Oh, isn't this So hard? she did that with a doggy bone. Um, it cut well, out like probably. Our little... Yeah, yeah that's, that's so cute. cute. So we're putting the cucumber slices in, and then we are going to put the kiwi slices in the other one. And that's it! That's it. That one's done too! That was We were so just like knocking these out. They look so good. We're all <laughs> chopping them out. <laughs> we're chopping them out. Yes, I love it. Ah! No, wait, that was what I <laughs> It's dinosaur day. It doesn't fit with any of our days of the week, but it's a that's dinosaur only, lunch. That's so. only cool for a second. <sighs> Scammers. You know when your phone says scam likely, I actually really appreciate that too. So, all right, let's cook dino day <laughs> lunch. <laughs> so we're basically taking this dinosaur, we're gonna cut out the sandwich with it, but then we're gonna go back in with salami and add little spikes to his back. I know this kind of dinosaur isn't supposed to have spikes, but for the lunch purpose. Well, this one yeah. has little spikes, but this one kind of looks like a hedgehog to me. I don't think I don't think we're gonna use this one. We're just gonna use the other one. Wait, you didn't put? Oh, you did put the stuff in. It's okay. in it. Okay, okay. It's just in making it. sure you, you gotta put it right. back into it. Go. Here, let me help you. I don't think it's. <laughs> oh, that one went. It's because the salami doesn't like to cut. <laughs> Got it, got see? It. You got just got it. Got it. Let's pull him out. See how cute he is? Oh, he doesn't have a bag. Did you forget the other piece of bread? <laughs> Where no, it looks like you, it looks like you had it, but then you ripped it out or something. Oh. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna do one more piece of bread and put it back on him. Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the whole bag. 
So I will say with cutting all of these, I have found the metal cookie yes. cutters work way better, especially I think for this one when there's salami or something really hard in it. Um, these ones don't work as well. Yeah, plastic just doesn't cut it. Okay. Cut it, get it. <laughs> kind of a little Okay. okay. <laughs> He looks like he's eating some meat, so that's good. Like he has a little <laughs> hanging out of him. So to make the spikes, you're gonna take a salami and roll it, and then cut your little spike. Just cut one little slice that way, and then go ahead and cut about right here. I have no idea what you're doing, just so you know. Then we're gonna fit him in here. See his cute little spike? Okay, that's not how I would have done it, but that's a, a way of doing it. Well, I didn't want to waste too much salami. They had it like rolled up where you roll up each one, each spike. But So I, I thought like... they had just taken like little triangles out of it. That's cute, that's, that's cute. cute. Let's put an eyeball on him too. Okay, you got a little eye. Kind of smashes. <laughs> it's okay, he's cute, it's still he's cute. cute. It's still cute. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute and easy. I like that. Yeah. With this one, we are gonna pair some broccoli with it. I know not all kids love broccoli, but it goes but with the dinosaur thing. Also, a little tree climbing the tree. <laughs> okay. Also, we are going to be adding um, a dinosaur egg, which is just a hard-boiled egg. And I started it over here, but you just take like the edible markers and you just make little circles. So it's just like a little dinosaur egg that goes in there. Cute and easy. And now we are ready to put it in the lunchbox. For this one, we're gonna actually sprinkle a little bit of curl mix on the bottom. Is that like supposed to be your dirt? Yeah, that's the dirt around the dinosaur. <laughs> okay. Now, I lost my egg. Oh, what did I you just was writing on it. Oh, here it is. I thought these fruit snacks, we're gonna put these in next. We're purple, the wrapper's purple, but these are not, because purple dinosaur, get it? Barn. Okay. <laughs> we're not thinking barn We're here. too old for this. Um, Our people are too young for this. And then we're gonna have the broccoli. Yeah. And then add a little broccoli. And bam, it's all done. I don't think you can say bam. That's, yeah. that's like a that's chef. how they die. What? You know, like, the, is that how the dinosaurs die? <laughs> I literally don't know why I hang out with you. Because <laughs> you love me and I keep your life interesting and fun. That was a success. That was so much fun yeah, cooking I together. Had, I had fun cooking with you today. Or making sandwiches. I guess it wasn't cooking. It wasn't really cooking. <laughs> but the kids are going to enjoy their lunches, though. So that's They the are. Part. That's super cute. And for all of you who want to know what do we do with all those scraps, we save everything. Yes. And so we made lunch for our husbands. <laughs> husbands for get lunch, too. <laughs> Believe it or not, they probably will eat that. If not, the kids will eat it as soon as they get home from school. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and cooking with us today. And just learning alongside us. If any of you guys have bento lunches or ideas that you would like us to try, we would love to learn know. more. Yeah, we love this. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Mother Hustlers.